Hi guys, welcome to ET Land. I make vlogs about handheld setup tutorial, game introduction, anything about Digimon, anime, toy, ASMR, and anything related to otaku. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are interested in these topics. So today I'm going to talk about how to use your right stick as a stylus pen for DS emulation on Retroid Pocket 2. This is a random discovery. I wasn't planning to do this, but I just found out it today. So let's look at how to set up. So first of all, you have to go to change options in the manual. Then click external controller. Then scroll down to the bottom. You'll see right stick mode. Click it and change it to pointer mode. By enabling this, you'll be able to see your right stick as your pointer or stylus during game, but you won't be able to click it, so you have to map it. Click map special and make sure you have mapped all the keys that you used to use. You have to switch between gamepad mode and integrator mode in order to set it. I used to map my screen swapping to R2, my menu to L2, but this time as I'm going to use the pointer, I'm mapping my menu to my L2, my screen swapping to the volume up button and mapping the pointer down to the L2, sorry, to the L2 button. Now you'll be able to use your right stick and your R2 for touchscreen simulation. So let's take a look at some gameplay. Sorry for forgetting to switch back to gamepad mode. So I'm just trying to give you some idea of how to use it. I'm not really drawing anything useful here, but I just want to try to show you how to do that. If you look carefully, you can see there is a little pen on the screen. So that is me using my right stick to control it. You So you can see where you are touching but you have to get used to it in order to draw something or do some complicated control operation stuff like that because the right stick on retro pocket 2 is a digital stick instead of analog stick it is a little bit difficult to control in comparison to an analog stick to be honest well this is still kind of easy to use so I think it is a really useful feature especially when we don't have a touch screen on right drive pocket 2 I used to swap between gamepad mode and indicator mode in order to play some games that relies on touch screen but a game like this one is barely impossible because it is completely based on indicator I'm sorry like t touch screen so it was so difficult but after enabling this mode it is a lot easier the biggest drawback here is that I can't see the pen it is too small and not very significant so you, you can see I have missed a lot apples because I literally can't find a pen and I was um, having some mistake in my control so that would be one problem when you use this um, stylus on your retro pocket too but once you have got used to it it's a lot easier so it's a matter of practice I guess
Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and I hope you find this video useful. Bye!